Hi guys, Steve Blankert here. Hey, uh, I've had some questions about my my old Walker Turner WT900 drill press here that I restored a number of years ago. And uh, so I thought I'd make a little video just showing you what I did. Uh, this drill press was probably made around 1950, 1951 or so. Um, it's, a, it's a high quality American made drill press. Um, I restored it probably, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, maybe 10 years ago. I can't remember for sure now. Uh, but the, one of the big things I did was uh, I added a VFD, a variable frequency device to it. Uh, and this gives me infinitely variable speed. Um, they originally have, uh, let me open this up here. You got pulleys that you can adjust the uh, position of the pulleys. And in the center mount here, there was a uh, another uh, pulley setup that gave you more speeds for low for lower speeds. They're really quite scarce. Uh, they're kind of hard to come by. Actually, I had one and I got rid of it. But uh, I saw this setup that another fella did uh, using the uh, VFD. So I kind of copied his, and it works really well. Um, now I. I've, Someone just mentioned that uh, they don't make this model VFD anymore, but uh, uh, I'm sure there's others that are suitable. This takes 110, just household current, and it converts it to 220. And so what I've done is I put a uh, 220 three-phase motor on it, which uh, this is a three-quarter horsepower motor uh, that just bolts right up to the same mounting plate. Um, and the VFD converts the 110 input power to three phase 220 to run the motor and because it's three phase it has infinite speed characteristics so um, plus I added this little light here I've got on so I can see what I'm doing so but I'll show you here I'm gonna turn it on turn the VFD on and I've got a frequency showing here and then I have a little cheat sheet chart, chart on the wall that tells me uh, the spindle speed uh, based on the frequency that it shows up here on the on the uh, VFD. So it's pretty simple. So uh, just for example, so I've got the VFD on and uh, go ahead and turn on the drill press and it runs and I can vary the speed just by turning this knob here. I think you can probably hear the difference. So it's very, uh, very versatile. Um, now they say at low speed, the VFD, uh, you lose a little bit of the torque with it. But because I've gone from a, a half horsepower to a three quarter horsepower three phase motor, um, I've got plenty of power for doing anything I want to do with it. So uh, it's a nice upgrade. It's kind of a resto mod, you know, take an old, uh, you know, something that's 70 years old and then put some modern. Uh, electronics to it to give me this uh, variable speed frequency, uh, variable speed capability. So it's it's really nice though. I've been using it now uh, ever since uh, I restored it, and it, it works flawlessly. It just really is a nice nice way to have a good American-made drill press, but with the uh, modern capability of infinitely variable speed. So anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, if you got any questions? Let me know. Thanks. Turn that off. And I'll turn the VFD off.